Hey guys, if you're putting a big board kit on your pit bike, one modification you do not want to pass up is adding a high volume oil pump. It's not a difficult job and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Hey guys, it's Brian. I am back in the garage again today. I have some fantastic news. This is the last step before we finally rebuild the CRF 70 motor. So we've done the engine teardown. I have done the Cerakoting and vapor blasting with our help over at Houston Vapor Blasting. We've done the transmission rebuild. So now we're on to the final step before we put together this totally badass motor. I'm gonna blow your mind, I guarantee, with how awesome this thing is gonna look. So all the parts that we have on this build have been supplied by the great folks over at T-Bolt USA. So if you're looking to upgrade your mini or your pit bike, they have everything that you need. Suspension parts, engine parts, everything that you need to upgrade your pit bike. So super nice guys to deal with. I've had fantastic luck with them. So if you're in the market for that kind of stuff, please give them a shout, give them a chance. Really nice people at tboltusa.com. So one thing I wanna mention about this build right now, the procedure that you're getting ready to see was done on a completely disassembled motor. So you can do this procedure on a motor that's still mostly assembled, but I wouldn't recommend it. But you, if you do decide to do it that way, you're gonna to have to remove a lot of parts. You're gonna to have to remove the right side uh, cases, you're gonna to have to remove the cylinder, the head, a bunch of other things. But if you need help with that, I've got a video on that up here that you can go to to see about removing all these ancillary parts to get to the point where you can do this oil pump. So uh, I think that's really all I have to say. Um, hope that you guys enjoy this video. And I'm ready to get to work if you are, so let's pick up some tools and tear into it. Start by removing the three Phillips head oil pump mounting screws. These can be sticky and require an impact driver, and I showed how to use that in my pick bike motor disassembly video, so look for that. By the way, T-Bolt sells these tools, and I will leave a link for them in the description. This little sleeve is called a rotor shaft collar. Just make sure you don't lose track of it. Next we're going to remove the cylinder stud adjacent to the oil passage that we're going to be widening. And the way you do this is to thread on two nuts. Then tighten them firmly against each other. Squeeze the wrenches together as you start to loosen the stud, and these studs usually come out without too much drama. Now we're going to isolate the oil passage from the motor by masking it off. So you don't want to get any metal shavings into the motor, that's what we're after. So stuff some sort of material like this paper towel into the passage leading out of the oil pump. If your motor is still assembled, take the time to really mask it thoroughly. Mask off the area around the oil passage with a lot of care. I wanted to show the depth of the passage that we're gonna bore out. It's only a few millimeters thick, so I thought you could get a better idea if I showed you using this flashlight and a piece of tape that I'm shining onto it. So it's not a deep bore at all. Anytime you drill a hole, you need to oil the bit. So the best type of oil for this is cutting oil, but if you don't have that, you could use something like gear lube instead. So the oil passage is a one millimeter hole. So in order to drill out a hole that is true, you need to slowly enlarge the hole. So first we're gonna drill a 1.5 millimeter hole.
then switch bits to a two millimeter and drill the hole to its final inside diameter, which is two millimeters. Now we need to clean out every bit of drill shaving, so spray some brake cleaner to wash away any of the cutting fluid. Now I have a little pool of shavings and oil. So I'm going to clean out this little pool with a paper towel and some WD-40, but brake cleaner is great for this also. Once every trace of shavings are gone, you can remove the masking. Finally remove the plug inside the oil passage under the pump. Next remove all the masking. Inspect everything very closely to make sure that absolutely no shavings are left behind. So I thought it might be a little bit easier because this motor is largely disassembled to show you one element of this assembly process that is more easy to display basically with the motor in this condition than if it was completely assembled. And that is how the impeller shaft works to operate the oil pump. So this shaft is driven by this sprocket right here, which is part of the chain tensioner apparatus inside the motor. So if we remove that, take out the shaft, Kind of see how the assembly works. We'll put that back together real quick. All right, so you see the, the way this was assembled inside the engine. So what happens next, basically, is this shaft goes through the engine from one side to the other, and there is this sleeve that goes right inside the inside where the oil pump is, right inside here. So this is where this little sleeve comes in. So that sleeve ends up on the end of the shaft like this, and then this is the important part. So when you're lining up the oil pump itself with the impeller shaft, there is a notch at the end of the shaft that needs to be lined up in order for the oil pump to seat. So that goes in like this. So you can see how that works. All right, so I thought that was easier to explain with the engine disassembled like this, so let's continue on, all right? Here's our little notch that we're gonna be lining up with that shaft. Install the gasket. Install the oil pump while lining up the notch between the pump and the drive shaft as I showed you earlier. I'm using some Loctite blue on these bolts, but you don't have to. I just like to have a little extra insurance. Tighten the three Phillips head mounting bolts and we're almost done. Lastly, torque down the three Phillips head mounting screws to eight Newton meters. And you have just installed a high volume oil pump. 
All right, guys, so the oil pump is in. I'm stoked about that because now we are going on to the final step, which is putting this motor together. And I promise you, it is gonna be a mind blower. You are going to love it. This is gonna be a gorgeous motor when it's finished. I'm stoked to show it to you. So off that a little bit, I wanna say one cool thing, and that is as of today, March 4th, 2021, our channel has hit 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> So that means that uh, we are now gonna qualify to uh, run ads, sorry about that, but we do get to commercialize the channel now, which is kind of exciting for me. It's been a lot of work, but I couldn't have done it without wonderful people like you guys watching this channel. I've made so many friends. I just appreciate it so much. The interactions that I've had, the help I've been able to give people on their specific problems has been really rewarding. So I really enjoy it. So as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making these videos. Thanks so much for everything. I'll see you in the next video when we put this motor together and make sure to have fun in your garage.